Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Um, I got Kat's email over the weekend and I had to laugh a little because I think the last time I read poetry was the fifth grade when I recited Sarah Sylvia Cynthia Stout would not take the garbage out and I don't recall it actually going very well. Um, however, I'm here because I think this is a cool project. Um, so thanks Kat for bringing us together. Uh, my poem's called Manifesto, The Mad Farmer Liberation Front and actually it's uh, Wendell Berry's poem. It goes like this. Love the quick profit, the annual raise, vacation with pay. Want more of everything ready-made. Be afraid to know your neighbors and to die, and you will have a window in your head. Not even your future will be a mystery anymore. Your mind will be punched in a card and shut away in a little drawer. When they want you to buy something, they will call you. When they want you to die for profit, they will let you know. So friends, every day, do something that won't compute. Love the Lord, love the world, work for nothing. Take all that you have and be poor. Love someone who does not yet deserve it. Denounce the government and embrace the flag. Hope to live in that free republic for which it stands. Give your approval to all you cannot understand. Praise ignorance for what man has not encountered he has not destroyed. Ask the questions that have no answers. Invest in the millennium. Plant sequoias. Say that your main crop is the forest that you did not plant that you will not live to harvest. Say that the leaves are harvested when they have rotted into the mold. Call that profit and prophesy such returns. Put your faith in the two inches of humus that will build under the trees every thousand years. Listen to carrion, put your ear close and hear the faint chattering of the songs that are to come. Expect the end of the world. Laugh, laughter is immeasurable. Be joyful though you've considered all the facts. So long as women do not go cheap for power, please women more than men. Ask yourself, will this satisfy a woman satisfied to bear a child? Will this disturb the sleep of a woman near to giving birth? Go with your love to the fields, lie easy in the shade, rest your head in her lap, swear allegiance to what is nighest your thoughts. As soon as the generals and the politicos can predict the motions of your mind, lose it. Leave it as a sign to mark the false trail the way you didn't go. Be like the fox who makes more tracks than necessary, some in the wrong direction. Practice resurrection. Thanks for listening um, and contributing. Hope you're doing well.